All right, welcome back to Divinity Original Sins 2. We are currently following the prologue of Act 2. Our party has been reskilled, we are ready to rumble, and our job is to get that bloody boat running again, which we are now going to do. So, look at that couple of guys, um, a couple of prisoners. So, Well, let's see if we can give her a little something. How about we offer her some gold? Plus 19 attitude, which should be the equivalent of um, which should be the equivalent of level four persuasion. Let's give her that as well. Here you go. Perfect. A little bit of wine, a little bit of uh, gold should uh, do the trick. Well, we do not have persuasion, but that is something which we can easily change. Shall we go into the mirror? And all of a sudden, Seville turned out to be like the silver tongue that she uh, always was. We got the strange gem and we successfully convinced them. So yeah, sometimes persuasion is a good talent. By the way, we could have done it differently as well, by just killing each and every one, but fine. So we got our quest update. Alexander turned out to be in possession of a rather particular gem. We decided to borrow it. Who knows what uh, tink, uh, uh, Trinker uh, with a trinket might come handy. Okay, so I think um, if I remember correctly, that was uh, the entrance to the store. Oh, you can't threaten the door. Okay. Hmm. So 
So I think with that we should be able to open the door. And there we go. So we get to know uh, Tar um, Tarkin, whom I, by the way, do not like at all. And he's going to explain uh, us, uh, explain to us uh, that we need to um, convince the ship to continue uh, uh, to work for us. And there we go, Tarkin, my friend. Let's see what he has to offer. Movement boots, uh, sneaking and wits, finesse and necromancer, uh, lucky charm, constitution, pyro and geomancer helmet, that, uh, that looks nice. Intelligence, uh, crit chance, uh, wand with bleeding. A really, really good bow. And unfortunately not a really, really good two-handed weapon, but a couple of nice necromantic skills. And source orbs, which are actually pretty, pretty good. That's also why they are worth 15,000. So, before... We will meet him again after um, after we defended uh, the uh, the ship, so it's not going to be too much of an issue. Um, let's lock pick that chest. Got ourselves a nice little source skill. We're going to search through the whole room. And we're going to steal from him a little bit later. There you go. So, let's continue to look through all of them. If I remember correct, uh, like there were hundreds and hundreds of of vials in here. Every single vial rack had empty potions, so I was pretty much starved on uh, empty potions before I found out that you can loot them here. So great tip if you have time and if you're into crafting, that's the place to be. Specifically for potions. So many racks, and all of them have two or three empty uh, bottles in them. Don't forget the bottles of wine and the normal empty bottles as well, because we can use them for grenades. Also, let's not forget to loot the um, cash items here. Teleporter Pyramid, wonderful, so good. Uh, we definitely need to keep that. Gold plates.
that here is the intro screen I remember it like this here is when you select the difficulty <laughs> it's funny to see it in game no no we're not going down yet glass and a pitcher good let's see what else we uh, do we have here rows of books I think there were a couple of scrolls in here and by the way I'm missing the resurrection scrolls in our inventory if we can get rid of I think we can get rid of uh, this scroll here and instead take our resurrection scrolls we so far do have 32 of them so might as well spread a couple of them oh wait a second we could also put them into our stash so never mind I don't think that we're going to resurrect 32 times because the chances of us dying instead are way higher So, look through all of the details, read all of the books. And we'll take that one, a little bit cash loot. We'll take that one as cash loot. And a lot of necklaces as cash loot as well. Empty potion bottles are always good. Good, I think we're done here. And if my memory serves me well, there is a fight down there. I can't remember which kind of fight it was, so might as well start with uh, preparing something. Let's get our incarnates up. Power infused and another power infusion. Resting bonus, and there we go. Yep, I was uh, figuring as much. And oh, thank you. It's only wow, level eight hammers pad. Whew, all right, so first things first. Let's slow these guys down. Secondly, Let's move into them. Oh, 
We might need the Echo Dome. Yep, because level 8 characters just hurt like hell. Oh, wow. Good. We definitely need the Echo Dome. And I think might uh, we might as well yeah we we can't just burst them down we we need to use our cooldown skills to make sure that we're staying alive. Dish out as much damage as we can. Seville so taking severe bleeding. Mend metal for everyone. Seville so gets some extra bonus armor and we're going to heal her full. Wow. Saiken, did he just resist death? <sighs> this is going to be intense. Wow. All right. Um, yeah. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Um, let's take a look. What they, um, they are equally resistant or not to all of the elements. Um, So, if we were to shoot somewhere in the midst of all of them, can we do it without hitting ourselves is the question. We can always hit two of them. We can also hit all of us and all of them. I think like putting it here might be the best idea for now. They do have an incre uh, incredibly high amount of physical armor, uh, of uh, magical armor. So we might just be better off with um, shooting their, uh, shooting down their phys uh, physical armor. So. Let's start here. Move in, do the whirlwind. And taunt. 
which at least will motivate one of them to go for us. This is what we are commonly referring to as a clusterfuck. Uh, they are just, all of them are on us. I wouldn't even know how to, I wouldn't even know how to get out of uh, there. Wow. Well, Um, a charm uh, could actually be quite useful here. I'm not going to lie. We could knock down their magical resistance. Uh, that would be great. Um... I don't know. We would he hit way too many. Mind maggots are good. We could exactly use them once everything... Um, once uh, they lost all of their magical armor, which they haven't yet, so... Might as well put it here and hit two of them. Three, because there was one uh, chameleon guy. So we need to heal Sibyl. If you so many healing uh, abilities from uh, from the beginning, unbelievable. Let's block with the totems and see if we can, if we can just, yeah, turtle us in. We could teleport one of them up here to give us some more time. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that. They don't have unlimited um, teleportation. They usually try to get invisible and st uh, stealth on you. There's a new one, freshly out of stealth. Can we heal Sibyl any further? Like she needs, definitely needs physical armor. There we go. Everyone received physical armor. And let's give Seville uncanny evasion. Good. Now, as for you, There you go, maybe he just drops down and falls to the ground. Oh wow, he's hitting like a truck. <laughs> wow, he's really hitting hard. Um,
Good. Uh, we are slowly chipping them down. And... Might as well put some traps down here. Which increases the burning damage. So this guy here is almost out of... Ah, didn't want to have the attack of opportunity. It's almost out of uh, magical armor. This here is a setup to to uh, crowd control them. Can we somehow remove his magical armor? No, that's not going to be enough. Because if we could, we could uh, then also crowd control him. He's down to 33. Hmm. The question is, would that grenade deal enough magical damage? Hmm. It's it's worth a try. I mean, the mind maggot grenade. Although, wait a second, we can't just like charm them uh, charm them all. Let's. Charm this guy, then there's one hidden guy, and let's charm him. Good enough for me. Fuck. That was so close. I should have just used one of the scrolls, to be honest. Let's use the grenade anyways. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Um, So I think we can crowd control these guys here. Hmm. They were on fire, so two spells wouldn't be enough but a water yeah I can uh, shoot a water arrow in here and uh, that should do the trick that's the charmed uh, charm person perfect So one of them is frozen now.
thinking about maybe two. No. We need to arrows that hit all of them. So more poisonous arrows. Good, we're slowly but surely getting a hold on it, but I don't want to jinx it. What I'm missing is uh, healing. We're a little bit short on it. So all of them take burning damage and let's continue to focus this guy down. Let's regain physical armor. How's the incarnate doing? It's actually not doing bad, so might as well give him some more armor. Um, Let's get one or two totems up just to help with the damage. Like his totems are really strong at the moment. And this guy here is bleeding, burning, poisoned, whatever. Come on, don't kill Saiken. Wow. So one person down. I I simply don't have any more um, any more healing skills. So you might want to find some place where there uh, is water, so we can at least heal from there. But th that seems to be not the case. Good. Alternative option. Teleport someone out. Um, other option. Maddening song. These two should just continue to attack randomly. Yep. Oh, there you go. Hit yourself. Ah. All right, so uh, Seville resisted death, which means there is no more con uh, continuing after that. She might completely die. Oh, wow. Oh, I failed to see. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Failed to see that she was poisoned. She could have just healed herself. She even had Bless memorized, so... Oh, 
we are in a, such a bad position. You can put her up here and she can jump down afterwards. She might as well die again. There we go. Let's get the fire pet started. Big fat fireball, everyone's burning, great. So close. Uh, most everyone is of has full health, uh, has full armor. Like whenever we're we're on full health and then the next turn it we're taking so much damage. Just ridiculous. Wow, how am I even getting enough health back? So I don't need to worry about the armor of frost. Let's just chuck a potion to be full and place yet another trap somewhere there. Okay. So, out of physical armor, out of physical armor. There we go. Knocked them down.
All right, everything's burning. Let's go here and force this guy to attack the incarnate, which means he at least needs to take one hit at it. We need to heal ourselves. Beast is back up. Um, I don't know, maybe we can survive that without dying. That fight is super close, very clutch. Let's put that guy down again. All right, so we'll get some armor. In some uncanny evasion. Everyone gets some uh, magical resistance. And that's about it. Wow, so many hit points as well. All right, one of them died. At least one of them died. That guy is still alive, so might as well kill it. Down. So, <sighs> that was an intense fight. I think two over here, two over here, one here, one here, so that's six level eight enemies all of them were one level above us and were designed to burst so we had to use a lot of uh, extra items for instance uh, the 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 maggot uh, grenade I wanted to keep for a special circumstance, but I think that fight just qualified for it. There are our first charming arrows. There is another teleportation pyramid, which we're going to use. And we're putting it on beast. There is another jar of mind maggots, perfect, because we just used ours. Well, that certainly was an intense fight. For, for a second I was like, mm, I think we can't do that. 
Oops. Take a leaf, perfect. So, um, thanks for the quick, uh, quick chat, Seville. We needed to put the books, by the way, back into our uh, stash. So let's not forget that. We just got another nice item here. Plus one constitution, plus one leadership. Well, that's not bad. Might as well use it. And we got... Poison resistance and initiative. Which is a little bit better than the ones that we were wearing, so... Great. Two upgrades in just one battle. We found a couple of empty canisters and we're di directly going to Combine it with a jar of mind maggots. By the way, we had another one. Good to know. Oh, we can't do it uh, with an empty canister. Is it an empty flask? I thought it was an empty grenade shell or something. Anyways, let's double check. We got one fuse here, which together with our um, oil makes another grenade. I'm just double checking if we need to stock up. We have dozens of uh, flasks, and dozens of potions. This one here is a nice one, by the way, the Blood Rose. Um, the thing with the blood, blood rose is it gives you a unique potion, which is called um, blah 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 of the rose. Here we go. That's the utter of the blood rose. I really like it. It's a it's a really really good potion. It gives you plus one to all of your stats. Disadvantage is when you die, um, you will you will lose the effect. I am thinking about going risky and putting it onto Saiken. Um, but that means we can't let him die. So that's a little bit of a problem there. Because plus one to all of the stats is really good. It, was, uh, it would sol solve a lot of our problems. Might as well wait for now. I'm not sure. I also don't want it to be like the potion that you're carrying around with you and that you would then chuck for the end uh, uh, fight just to receive the bonus. Um, you know what? I know I'm going to be mad uh, in case I'm going to die. But the way we're going to see it is for many, many of the combats, it's hopefully going to provide a nice little bonus, which is fine. If 
Famous last words, Saiken died in the next combat and everything went to shit from there. Nice, she has a couple of uh, fire skills, which is good. She's not going to sell anything to us because she's still pissed. And I think um, we have done our job down here because now we can go up, we got the teleportation pyramids. We can put everything back in order. So let's move up. Yo, wait a second. Couple of silent monks there. I thought we could maybe trade with them and Dexter. Perfect. Dexter, yo, what do you have uh, to offer? Couple of arrowheads are always welcome and shafts. I think we have enough bottles. I think, yeah, with 78, we definitely do have enough bottles. I would like to get more empty grenades, but they are like a little bit expensive. Let's take the rope. All of the inexpensive stuff. Let's put it that way. I mean, we could afford it, no question, but it's always a question if it's worth the effort. So before we move on, I think that's a good stop for this video. Let's um, do the, the second fight in the, the other video.